good. Here I'm going to go over the brief overview of the five themes that unify biology. Kind of make it a whole encompassing unit. Well, first one is evolution. Gene frequencies change in a species over time. Terms we're going to work with when we get into the topic of evolution will be genetic drift, natural and artificial selection, and founder effects. Well, there's just a quick overview here is before selection, we have all these circles that are different colors. Sorry for colorblind. Um, we notice here after selection, the red and the dark red were favored for this particular environment or stress that occurred. And our final population, for those that can see color, are composed of red and dark red, and the yellows and tans and oranges were selected against. Also here have a migrating population, and we have a couple generations that occur. Through founder effects, we see the purple ones here were the most advantageous. So one of the five themes that unify biology is evolution. The second theme is the flow of energy. All, or, all living organisms require energy. The sun is the source of energy for most ecosystems. Except for uh, some organisms that live way down in the deep ocean, the vast majority though, otherwise the sun is the main source of energy. Plants capture energy via photosynthesis, and they can act as an energy source for other organisms. You see here the sun's energy at the very bottom, that's producing uh, for our primary producers, that's their main source of energy, then the primary consumers, and then secondary consumers, third level consumers, apex predators. A lot of energy is being lost to heat. Again, we can't create or destroy energy, but a lot is being lost to heat. Then these are being broken down by decomposers. Those nutrients are being recycled, and the kind of circle goes around. Now it's 100% down to 10%. This is how much we're losing to heat. This is why there's so few apex predators and so many primary producers. Third theme that unifies biology is interaction. Interaction between organisms is critical for evolution. There's social behavior that occurs when organisms of the same species live in direct contact. So you see here with the meerkats, these are highly social animals. And then we have community dynamics that occurs when organisms of different species live in direct contact with one another. And this could be an example here if we have the butterfly and the flower, two very different species, but interacting in a community-like way. The fourth theme that unifies biology is structure determines function. This would be very important when we go over macromolecules, specifically proteins, uh, but biological structures are well suited to their function. This is very true at every level of organization. The example I give here is the sequence of amino acids leads to a specific structure that can lead to a very specific function. The example here would be enzymes that are, um, have a very specialized active site that only bind to one particular substrate. So their structure determines their function. Lastly, the last thing that unifies biology is homeostasis. All living organisms act to maintain a relatively stable internal environment, and maintaining homeostasis requires energy and a lot of singling back and forth between cells. You need to have positive feedback and negative feedback systems here as a way to lower things or raise things to maintain these relatively stable internal conditions. So just to quickly review all five, you can see them listed right here. I provided them in individual slides and broke them down with images that hopefully make it more memorable so you're able to uh, make connections with the five themes that unify biology.